What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Come check out the website and you are watching Space News and you're looking at Pluto and its moon. What a gorgeous. This is in a uh, false color composite. That means they basically took the image and they laid color on top of it. Um, I think they actually, the artist at NASA, take a look at the... Um, the data from the instruments and they add this color. Here's what it looks like without the color added. A much, much cleaner shot. This is directly from the website. NASA's been changing their website around recently. It's harder to link things to it, but this is a pretty, pretty amazing shot for being uh, so far away. Uh, you can see down here uh, what seems to be a lot more cratered, but really need to work this image a little bit and we'll see a little bit more as they come in they this was i think the fail safe image that came back as it did the flyby this was the closest flyby it was going to make was yesterday which was tuesday um, july 14th and it made it i think in about midday here in eastern coast of uh, united states in maryland um, i know a lot of this data comes back actually to maryland to a lot of university like the university down there right outside of uh outside dc but here's this one came from the other day. And this one's, uh, this was what, on 7-11. So this was uh, about three or four days ago. And this image is in a totally different orientation. And it has a lot of, uh, a lot of strange spots in it. And they even, they even bring that up in the image. If you can see over here on the image, it seems like this is kind of taken out on the side or it's too dark over here to see. Um, We'll pull that up here in a second and take a look at it. And I want to show you first this little movie that NASA put together for it. Um, it shows the, let me hit it again. It shows the whole thing coming in with the dates on top of it, fast approaching. Okay, now see how it's at the end, how it does that? Um, I guess what it does is they probably did that because I was like, well, how come if this thing's rotating, do they get such a clean thing at the end of it? I guess that makes more sense. We figure it out here together at What's Up in the Sky. See how it's rotating? And then it gets to this picture and it's just like, whoosh, and it zooms in. So this was the latest one. So they zoom that in the rest of the way itself. So let's watch that one more time as it comes in. You guys can, boom, see the, uh, down at the bottom. And you can see this is where the interesting, a lot of the interesting marks and stuff were. And then we're up to uh, the 12th. This thing is fast moving in. And there we are. So that's what I guess this was the latest and greatest. And then they just kind of zoomed it in themselves the last way. So I was like, well, how come I thought this was more than one picture right there? But it's not. So that's what we do here. We look at these things together. Now, without Pluto, back over to Cirrus and the uh, Dawn images. Not a word from NASA on this. Um, still, the last thing put out by them was Dawn holding and second mapping orbit. Uh, we're looking for something new on their website, Dawn at Dwarf Planet Cirrus. Not much new going on over there. They pretty much switched, uh, switched their press over to the New Horizons, which we expected them to do. Um, but still, the last thing posted on NASA is about these bright spots that continue to mystify the dawn images. And then basically the holding, I love how they, they label this dawn holding and second map orbit. Basically, there was a glitch. If you haven't watched my previous videos or you haven't been paying attention, there's a glitch in the system. And right as it went to go hit the thrusters to basically uh, take a nice little slow drift on down to the next mapping orbit, which would have been the third one. Um, it's at 2,700 miles now. It would have slowly moved down, and we would have expected to see some new images sometime in August. But now we haven't heard a word back from them. They say it's safe and uh, everything. They're trying to figure out what happened. But it put it in the safe mode, and it actually turned off the thrusting. So something's going on with it. Of course, there's always an anomaly when we see something big or something good going on. It's becoming a pattern. Think about it. Jade Rabbit for uh, China's system. The second we saw those pyramids and weird stuff in the background, boom. I thought we were going to get to see him. I thought we were going to take a little ride over to see it, and then you know, no communication, no the rover stuck. So that happened there. We've had all sorts of things. Even old Soviet crafts on the way to Mars have had uh, weird encounters and then totally went offline. So here, once again, new, this is actually, uh, like I said, New Horizons actually suffered some issues, and it looks like it's come back and uh, working okay. I'll be really interested to see how this turns out. Um, I know the false color, like I said, they, they present this in false color, and a lot of people don't realize that that's not the color, uh, that that's just NASA's 
you know, mock-up of it. And they do that with the uh, Hubble photos, too. A lot of the Hubble photos are pretty much artwork. So it's interpretation by artists. A lot of people don't know that either. So, all right, guys, what's up in the sky at 37? I'm going to make this a really quick space news. It's early this morning, 5 a.m. on Wednesday. Wanted to get this out before I took off for today. It's uh, summertime here in the United States. And like I said, I don't get as many videos out. i got a lot to do this year. Um, all sorts of stuff coming up. Got My uh, mother's getting some surgery in 10 days. So uh, it'll be either more videos because I'm going to be here more just sitting around waiting to see how she's doing or we're going to be you know out busting around but she's okay it's a uh, you know nothing nothing life-threatening knock on wood so all right guys to Pluto to Cirrus back to the moon next video I got a really really good one for you guys I'm um, stay tuned as always um, go check out the website sign up post in the forums we got a lot of good people in the forums that kick off the news all the time if anything just go check the website out sign up for free you can even sign up with Facebook and stuff like that it's really easy uh, just what's up in the sky .com. and uh, if anything if you're into space news check out our forums we got our buddies Ben bad sneaker and a whole bunch of other people over there to post Todd uh, post every day um, pretty much more than me they've really rolled with it and taken the ball over there because i don't have the time i'm just trying to give everybody the place to share their images uh we've done it on facebook our facebook group has been taking off um you can find that link on the website you can also find it down below uh along with all my other buddies from like the mars moon space photo zoom club uh exclusive mars images uh, emi uh the ufah the uh, united Federation of Anomaly Hunters, I think it is. It's like uh, we're all trying to pull together and pull our weight as like one kind of group. So if you're into that, you're really into these images, come check it out. Every day I go on and there's amazing things that people are finding and posting. I knew that everybody would be doing Like I said, if you have a computer and you're interested in this stuff or you have a cell phone and you download that Mars Images app, uh, you can go find anomalies. Uh, it's like it's easy. All you do is pull it up and, and take a look around. Midnight Planets is another app that takes all the images from the three rovers, Spirit, um, Curiosity, and Opportunity, and it, it puts them in like a mosaic. So it's almost like you're riding around in that date and time that the rover was there. So, and from that, you can pull up the, the original image and send it on over, upload it to the website, upload it onto the Facebook page and uh, get everybody's reaction, what they think about it. So it's, it's becoming more and more uh, of a hobby for other people. And that's what I set out to do. I hope you enjoy it. So hopefully we get some more back from Pluto. There won't be an air and we'll get the close up imaging of it during the flyby. And uh, hopefully that'll be coming within the next month. All right, guys, much love to you. Have a good one. Peace.